All right, guys, we made it out here upstate. There's some fields, maybe some farms, maybe some woods. So stay tuned, everybody. All right, first signal, first target is some foil. Uh, I'll get used to that, but the coins and stuff are out here. All right, first bullet of the trip, we got a nice 22 shell. All right, a nail. Keep on going. All right, we're out here in the farm field, and here we have a nice deer tree stand. Well, old one, not in use anymore, pretty cool. All right, guys, it's been a while. We've been uh, that field, here field, it's been raining, but we came to a new field. I uh, either got a pocket knife or a knife handle. It looks like a pocket knife, but we'll come back. All right, guys, there it is, pocket knife. Nice handle, blades broken off, but first find of the day of the trip. Hopefully, good things to come. All right, next thing up is this. Not sure what it is. It's kind of old. We'll clean it up and see what it's from, maybe, or it'll end up in the trash, but on to the next. All right, looks like we got a broken blade. So... Put that away, throw in the trash carefully. All right, dug a little deeper, found the handle. I might have actually uh, just cut that now with this shovel, so gotta be careful with older relics, but thankfully nothing too uh, valuable to break. All right, guys, when you're always walking on the field, you always wanna keep your eyes down. You might find a marble or something, but here we got a piece of pottery, so it's a good sign. All right, guys, it's button number two. Uh, it's Tom back. Um, I'll explain all that in the wrap-up. Uh, it's got a wire shank in the back, a bent, uh, can't flip it right now. Uh, but uh, it's getting dark, it's getting cold, so we're going to continue on and hopefully end the day right. Alright guys, it is day two. It is cold, as you can see, I am bundled up. Um, we are out here in some woods, still on the same farm, but uh, there's some woods behind it, and there's actually a cellar hole here, so I will show it to you, so stay tuned. Alright, here comes the cellar hole. There it is, you see the depression, there's some rocks around it, so we'll poke around here and see. Just starting the day. Right, still poke around the cellar hole. It's been hit a few times. Uh, got a nice rifle cartridge. Uh, this is from a hunter, modern. So, just a hunter in the area. All right, here's the well. Cellar hole is right up there, I believe. And then there's the well. So, always have, to have a source of water. Wonder if we can find the dump as well. All right, we're at the cellar hole still, and here's the find of the first find of the day. Beautiful little Conestoga bell. It's got that nice tombac color. Uh, Drill shank. No clapper, but everything else is beautiful. That'll clean up nice. Alrighty. All right, got a shotgun head stamp under a little branch, so there's still some targets. All right, got a hinge, big iron hinge, garbage. I thought it was a buckle, but not. Looks like a buckle, but not. So find those hot spots. So we'll All right, it. we got half a horseshoe. Maybe our luck's about to change. Here we go. All right, everyone, we are back. We are back here in Northern Jersey. Um, it is very cold, as you saw, I was bundled up. Uh, last week it was uh, in the 60s, I think almost in the 70s on Saturday. Uh, fall, kind of forgot the came. Uh, and now winter is uh, basically here, where I was uh, upstate in uh, New York by the capital. It is actually supposed to snow a couple inches overnight. Uh, so there's that. Um, I'm actually out here on my porch getting the last of the light. Uh, got home, showered, cleaned up, unpacked and stuff like that. So we have a nice fall tree in front. But anyways, on to the wrap up here. Uh, this video is a little interesting the way I did it. Um, it is Sunday, the first tap. Oh, sorry about that. I'm outside as I mentioned, so there is traffic. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so this is this video. The first half is Sunday, which was just a couple hours in the, in the rain in the farm fields and then the second half of the video is basically the first half of Monday, which was a full day. We started in the cellar hole, as you saw, and then we went to the fields. So the fields will be next week's video, and that is where things got interesting. So please, please come back for that. Anyways, on to the wrap-up for this video. Um, as you saw, I mentioned we started off in the fields Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon, um, and we found a pocket knife or a razor or a knife handle um, maybe from the late 1800s early 1900s I think it's a stag blade um, I don't know if that was where a clip would go on so you can slide it on your belt or if there was a badge a medallion type for the manufacturer but anyways I think it's like a Barlow like a Remington made it and it's like a stag handle so made out of deer uh, not wood which is why it is still there and not rotted away and you can see the blades 
uh, were iron and they fell off, rusted away. Uh, I'm gonna put that in vinegar later on and just see what happens, but pretty cool. Uh, nice old relic with a nice handle. And then we got this other blade, modern knife. Uh, the blade part, which I chopped in half. Uh, I don't know where it went. I'll probably find it later tonight, next week, in a month, in a couple months. Um, but yeah, nothing. This will go in the trash. Uh, rifle cartridge will go in the trash. Um, and then the other finds of the day, uh, always look for square nails. They tell you, kind of like a wheat scent, you're in the right place, but this is a little older. So in farm fields where a house used to be, you want to look for the iron sound to look for nails to say, oh, this was where a building was. And then in the woods by a cellar hole, uh, there's nails as well because there was a building there. So as you see, they're called square nails because they have a square head. Um, so these are 1800s. So pretty cool. Um, and then the two finds of this video of part one, but what, what I mentioned are tom back buttons. So you can see they kind of have a silvery gray uh, tinge to them. And they're what they call tom back buttons. Uh, they're a, a uh, metal alloy, so they're a combination of copper and nickel, and then mixed in as tin or aluminum or something like that to make that color like I mentioned, and they're usually spun. You can sometimes see the spin, like circular pattern, um, but you can't really see it. And Adam mentioned this was called a nipple button, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then here's this one kind of falling apart. They are very soft and easy to uh, they're brittle and easy to work with. Uh, this one has a wire shank. You can see it's bent back. But, yeah. So just a little taste of what is to come. So as I mentioned, please come back next week. Um, it should be an exciting video. Some, some exciting finds. And, uh, yeah. As always, when you're out there, pick up some trash. Eat beep. beep.